Hi everyone, it's Lonnie. Welcome back to Grace Blossoms for You. Today I want to blow through a 6x6 pad of paper. And mostly I'm going to make envelopes, um, but they're a specific kind. They are very thin because the paper is very thin. And these actually coordinate unlike some of the paper pads I've had and still have, and I'm trying to get rid of, but it's not so easy. Um, these actually coordinate. And so I've been able to make these envelopes and I got this idea from Hippie Gypsy and I will link her in the description. But so far I'm really enjoying these and these are perfect for putting in journals when you don't want to use up a lot of space. So you have the envelope inside and then you have an extra pocket over here. And I'm using them to include things like stickers or just, you know, little extras. So let's see how this would work. And another thing too that this pad allows for is um, there's one page here if I cut that into four I get these little cards that I can just easily slip in to the journal as well little journaling spots or little sentiments just kind of keeping with the theme and that's another thing I really like the color of this one um, I got this at the dollar store, and uh, yeah, so let's see how this works here. So the only thing to really remember about this one is to score it at two and a half inches. So I will get my paper out. And you do have to be mindful of the positioning so there's that to consider, like if you want your birds to fly a certain direction, you kind of have to keep that in mind. And I confess I'm not very good at that, so maybe I should have taken a different paper. My birds always seem to end up <laughs> upside down. Yeah, this one's not as particular because it won't show so much and they still coordinate well so all right at two and a half so that's right there and just score it so yeah because I needed a bunch of these it just made sense that um, I could go through the whole package because I don't really have the opportunity to, um, I don't have a lot of coordinating paper packs. So I figured I may as well use this for that purpose. All right, so then you fold them, kind of making sure you got a nice fold there and even so it matches on the edges and then you just have to decide which paper you want facing which direction so I could have it this way or I could have it this way and there we go so I think I prefer it the way I had it This way. Yeah, I like that one. And then, since I decided to have um, the pocket on there, it coincides with the pocket on this side. So then I just have to make a notch. I guess I wouldn't have to, but it helps to see. And then I just try to line them up. Like 
I just eyeball it. Okay, so then I slip that back in there. Um, you can weigh this down with something or you can just leave it. I usually end up paper clipping it to something or sticking it in another pocket. So, however you would like to do that. All right, so then I usually run my glue down this edge across the bottom and on this edge just because I don't want stuff to slip through there. Yeah, so how are you doing today? Are you crafting? Are you working? I'm I'm filming today, so it's my, I guess, what I would call my sweet spot of the week. Because I can actually get stuff accomplished. Alright, so there's, there's the outside. Just getting rid of any excess glue. And then we also want to put glue over here. And if it doesn't match up completely, I could ink it. Ink it's, oh, I mean, I could trim it too if I really wanted to, but just inking it so that the white isn't as prominent. i check it from this side. So yeah, sometimes I put um, like a wax seal on it. make some more. That blue one would actually go really well, I think. Maybe that one. Hmm. Maybe that one because the blue's not quite the same. So... Just warm up my hot glue. Okay, I want to see that again. You could always rewind it, but hey, why not? Yeah, I'm actually almost out of that one, so it's working out well. I'll be probably looking out for more of those um, paper pads. Two and a half inches. <gasps> Oops. Okay, so that didn't work out too well because I had my cutter on and not my... I'll have to see what I can do with those. Maybe I could still use them with washi tape or something. think about it while I'm doing this one. Hopefully I won't um, make that mistake again. Um, let's see. Made another solid piece, I think. I'll 
go with the little birds again. Okay, remember to use the scoring side, not the cutting side. Okay. See, it's not so hard when you do it right. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put this down. Like so. And then it just kind of weighs it down. I could have made it as a little tuck spot too, but I didn't. So you can do so many things. All right, so then we'll do this one. on the outside. Yeah, I think I want it like that. So this side will have the pockets or the notches. This piece of paper will have the notches. exactly confusing but it took me a while to get the idea of it I haven't made it to watch the whole of that video that hippie gypsy made because I initially saw this saw her video or part of it as part of a group that I'm in called For the Love of Paper. And so this was actually one of the projects one day for in that group. And uh, that's Karen Gibson's group, if you've ever heard of her. She's on Facebook. It's a lovely small group. It's got... Um, challenges and prizes and lots of inspiration. Alright. Accidentally got glue on the outside. That should be okay. Alright, so there's that one. And I think I'll leave this plain for now. Also, you could round the corners if you like. I usually do. I have to pick one that's kind of um, sharp because my go-to one is getting kind of dull. So there's that. Aren't they cute? I like them. All right, so then let's see if I can salvage the ones that I wrecked here. I think what I'm going to do is, well, now that they're apart, I am going to mix them up. And I'm going to do the washi tape thing. But yeah, this will make it a little more confusing for me just because it has the different different pieces together now. But hey, it seems to be a day for challenges. I think I would like a clean new 
piece of washi tape, maybe a wide one. And I think I'm gonna put some, some glue on so that it sticks and stays. I like about um, making mistakes in this junk journal world because you can work it sometimes so that it's actually nicer than it was originally because it forces you to get out of your comfort zone and see what else you can come up with so yeah I like that. Okay, so I'm just trimming that. It's kind of pretty. And then I'll do the same on this one. doesn't so much I mean it's definitely more colorful yeah it works I don't really love it as much as I thought I might but Someone else might like it more than I do. Let's put it that way. Um, I think like that. Something wants to stick in there because the washi tape, I guess. But yeah, that's not bad. Gotta glue it now. It goobered up a bit inside, but we shan't be seeing that anyway, so. Shant? Is that a word? I seem to be having sticky fingers. Okay. Yeah, I'll need to trim that a little bit. And I'll glue the rest first. And then it... It moved again. But yeah, I still like this project because like I said, 
it's a good way to use up. And actually, I don't even think of it as using up this paper pad, although it's so thin, I don't really know what I would have done with it except how I make some other kind of envelopes. But um, it's handy for this project because until this project came along, I didn't know I needed thin envelopes, so there's that. Okay, I will do the same with the corners on this one, if I can get it in there. Okay, so that is the most colorful one, but that's okay. Somebody might like that. I mean, saved saved the paper from being thrown out, right? So, okay, so let's see the ones I've got so far. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six so far. And all different, but kind of all the same. So... Anyways, hope you like that and maybe check out the Hippie Gypsy and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining and watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye for now.